So here's a set utilizing that new relic. I'm going up against myself and I'm going up against what I believe a lot of top dogs are using and cats. Now, here, we had a lot that crushed. We're not going to do two um, activations before Master. We're actually going to do just one. And then, with that separation that you have with there, oh, I messed up. You're getting a good chance for the 20 gems just like that. Go ahead. But the main thing is, is you're hit high enough on both slot one and five to be effective. And it was. You're above that threshold that I talked about a few months back, being above 400T against full sets of routes like that. You almost doubled it. Now you just got to ride that wave of activations. And if this person is using a set like I was using with a, um, the doggy and shock, um, you just go from there. But it's a zap. So this relic, I will say, it looks like it is zap friendly. Um, nuke friendly for that setup, at least, for the way that I just used it. So I'll take that, um, you know, and go from there. But I'll finish out the set to show you how I complete this. Now, because my shock is only a three-turn blocker, you already know what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I can't because it's a three-turn. I take that back. So no matter what I do... Um, I'm going to have to use it this way, which is fine. We'll use it that way. And then we got the next one here. So that's really nothing. It's your last one. So just activate these. These, these, these. Let's see if you can still get 20 connections, which you can't, but you're going to die here most likely. But you did as long as you don't die again there because that's when it wipes both of your wipes and you die for good so let's do that and zap and you guys got a pretty cool deck right there as well i'll be playing with it some more um but that's a nice little set